All right, so I wanted to give everyone an update on the future distant project that I'm do doing. Um, basically, I created these these real quick thumbnail sketches, the real quick gestures, um, and what I did was pretty much clone uh, the different outfits. I think I've made I don't know like fifty or something like that, different different little pieces, and I just kind of copied them over and and kind of built on what looks good and what doesn't. And then so after that, what I did was I colored them. So basically, these are the the real quick thumbnails um, that I've worked on. Now, as as thumbnails, I just wanted to kind of do rough colors and things like that. So there's uh, a real quick way I did this, and in hindsight, what I what I did was I basically created a base color, um, and I grabbed, uh, and as you can see, I colored on some of my layers, which I shouldn't have, but. Um, I created a base color and then um, I started painting skin and clothing on top of the uh, the line work or uh, between the line work and stuff. And so then for the skins to give it that kind of hue change um, uh, change, what I did was I basically uh, created the like red tones under the skin and that gave me kind of a uh, uh, kind of an underside and again these are just like I said real quick thumbnails I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time I just wanted to generate some ideas for the poor category of for the men in this and this is uh, let's see here three six uh, looks like 12 36 real real quick concepts that I did now, if I were to do this again, which I'm going to have to do for the female concept, um, what I would do instead is I think I would paint indivi individual parts, and then I can just color change said parts. Um, because right now what happened, and I don't like kind of uh, what happened, is one, the, uh, the thumbnails here, and you can see that's the shadows, but the line work, um, left a lot of red areas that uh, I could probably have covered up and I could have spent more time on the hands and, and do things like that and then granted this is only a uh, you know a small printout and it's just more for more for my notes but I think the the big issue is if I would have cleaned up and created some of the line uh, some of the individual pieces on their own instead of spending all this time you know going in and tweaking and, and you know, playing with these, I could have just simply done color changes and drag and drop, color change, drag and drop, and so on and so forth. A little bit, been a little bit more uniform. Um, I do like the way, though, this uh, kind of unified everything. Uh, what happened is it this under base here um, left a kind of a dirty, grimy look on everything that I painted. So as you can see, when I go up here, you know, I've got the dark. So it's it's the main color and then the dark undertones, and I think that really helped unify everything. Um, you know, and for thumbnails, I'll probably pick probably five of these, maybe maybe more, maybe less. Um, and I'll pick five of these and and pretty much just paint what I like and that type type of thing, um, and then make you know my characters out of it and so on and so forth. But in this in this method I think it was a good good test run for the initial characters however I think I can speed up the workflow process simply by uh, creating one character and cloning that uh, main body character so that's what I'm going to do for the women um, cloning the main body character and as you can see I already kind of started um, so basically let me close this layer so basically what I've done here is really quickly uh, drew line work and then I um, which is a lot cleaner than my other line work um, I figured I'd spend a little bit more time doing something cleaner and then I want to clean up this, this space here so I could probably uh, uh, get in here and just kind of you know clean up the lines here um, things like that you know uh, just little little bits and pieces clean it up I got some spikes here um, and I think that'll give me a lot cleaner line work. And then what I'm going to do is just simply start by painting over with, uh, it's just simply another layer on a chalk brush. And then all I do is 
is this trick? Oops. There we go. And then basically what I'm doing is just kind of building up this aspect. And it's and it's really simple to do. Um, and then what I can do is uh, slowly get rid of my line work and build up this this real quick character and put my red redder tones underneath to get that blood feeling um, and I think that worked really well um, I really liked how that that kind of took off but I think this methodology is especially if I kind of create layers here um, I think this methodology just really works well for what I was doing um, I, I didn't spend a whole lot of time in it. I wasn't, you know, I'm not looking at this point for um, my my total concept, if that makes sense. This is just, you know, a, an idea generating process. And so that's really what this wound up being is just kind of a test run for um, making some ideal uh, characters and, and, you know, kind of building up things and, and working with that. And so as you can see here, I've got, you know, just kind of a, a rough painting, and nothing, nothing too fancy, nothing like very interesting, just me sitting here and doodling. And again, I think it works. I think it works. The process itself worked. Um, and so I, I learned the process from um, a digital tutor's website which uh, I can't think of offhand, but I th thought it was a really good good process, good way to kind of do things. Um, and basically it's just going to give me kind of kind of a good start for my thumbnails. Um, personally though, I probably wouldn't wind up uh, I probably wouldn't wind up doing this for final work because I think it looks very cartoony um, and I don't know, I just don't like that style and feel for, for what I was working with. Um, so what I did, what I think I'm going to do is just kind of build this up for my general my general purpose here. You know, I'll paint the eyes and, and work on stuff like that. Um, get the lips in there and, and all the details. And again, it's, it's really quick. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like paint anything major. I'm just trying to kind of get the base character down like so and then just kind of a rough paint maybe some blends um, you know I could grab this and kind of smooth things out and go back in and paint things around Oops, two bumps there but I think that gave me, like I said, a good start. Um, it just needs a little bit of cleanup, which I would go. But then once I get my uh, next layer in there, I can actually start painting in. Oops. Uh, oops, wrong color here. Painting in my. And, and it, it's very subtle, and you don't have to do a lot of it. And I'm probably going to kind of erase this tonal value down the road here. Um, but I think it worked very well for what I was doing. Like I said, um, if, you, if you have too much of it in there, that's fine. Because you can always lower the opacity on there. And, or, you know, up it or and, and erase some of it. You know, if I like, which my eraser is not. There we go. So, and I can kind of go in and just kind of clean up a little bit, little bits and pieces and stuff like that. And go in there and kind of play with the brush a little bit more. Um, but I think that that really worked well for for what I was originally trying to do. Um, a real simple block in, a real simple quick paint. And like I said, I'm just kind of blocking this in here really quickly and then I'm going to the eraser and just kind of starting to pull some of this 
pull some of this mid-tones away in this middle layer here. And I'm just kind of playing with it. I can slowly get rid of my line work here. But I thought it was a good process. Um, and like I said, I can go in and play and I can go in and kind of pull things out, you know, pull a little bit more eyes out and that type of thing. And eventually this will be done and I'll do a whole bunch of layers of this and then I'll post it too. Um, so this kind of gives me uh, the base start, but I just wanted to show you guys where I was at because that's basically the line work that I did. And I, I left the line work in there because it's just a quick sketch. Um, but as you can see, I, I just by taking a couple outfits, I can really quickly get um, a lot of costume ideas. Um, and these can be taken even further, you know, details, individualization, and stuff like that. But it gives people um, a good process of what I was I was working on and kind of how to kind of go to the next step with it. Um, like I said, eventually I'll have to, I'll take these and I'll, I'll uh, move them to the next level here. Um, but, you know, like there's a lot of things in here that I'm looking at that I really like, you know, if I'm, if I would uh, have to mark uh, some down here, I would probably give this, this guy here, um, I really like this guy. I, I think it's a good concept. Um, some of these are pretty plain. Oops. Some of these are pr are are pretty plain, um, but you know I'd like uh, I like this guy, I like the the more worker related guys, um, kind of the vagabond guy. I like that as well. Um, I kind of like the beard, you know, travel satchel, that type of thing. Um, you know, I, I'm probably going to stay away from the shorts. I don't think they make very good characters. Uh, I like this more this style. Um, and I kind of like the the layered jackets, the layered looks, that type of thing. Um, even you know something like this, maybe I'll I'd change the pants or you know whatever. But I, I think that kind of gives me you know some really quick nice ideas in a, in a short amount of time that um, I can really develop into something something else. I really did like this patchwork design that I made. Um, you know, I, I thought I was thinking about basically the the process of, you know, fabric is not as, as widely used. So, you know, start patching your things like we did when we were kids. Um, you know, go to school with those patched knees on our pants. Um, and so, you know, that type of thing was, was more where I was looking for that. So, I don't know, like I said, there's there's just a couple that I like and I think I think some really good ideas. Uh, came from this process, but I think I'm going to try and refine the process, and um, I'm going to build up something a little bit, uh, a little bit better, I think. So I've got, you know, here I've got about a dozen or half a dozen concepts here at least. Uh, let's see here: one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so you know, I would pick. You know, I'd maybe pick another one of these concepts. I kind of like the, the the patchwork styles. I like the way some of these. So I have 12 concepts I can work on for the next stage. Um, and whether, you know, however further I take, how much ever further I take them, I take them. And if not, you know, I, I they're at least there for me to play with later. All right. I, thanks for watching.